Hey everyone, today we're going to go over mean, median, mode when it pertains to decimals. So last week we discussed how to tackle mean, median, mode, and range when we're talking about whole numbers. So it's very similar in that same respect. So we have our data set here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at mean. So if you remember mean from last week, mean was your average, right? It's your kind of your snapshot or your representation of your data set. So our first step when we're calculating the mean is we're going to add up all of the numbers. So we are going to add up every single one of these guys. So 3.77 plus 2.7. Two, three. Now you can do it a couple ways. You can add them up two at a time and then add a little bit more onto it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's a little bit easier for me. So 7 plus 3 is 10. Carry the 1. 7, 8, 9, 10. Carry the 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. So this is 6. So these two are 6. Now I'm going to go ahead and add 0.43 to this. And I'm just going to keep kind of tacking it on. 3, 4, 6, and then next I'm going to add 0.75. And that's kind of how I'm going to add them all up. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 7 plus 4 is 11, carry the 1, 7. So when I add them all up, I've got 7 and 18 hundredths. Okay. So my next step is divide by how many numbers are in my data set. So our first step is to add and then divide. Add and then divide when we're doing um, mean. So I have one, two, three, four numbers in my data set. So I'm going to divide this by four. So this is my first step right here. And then this is my second step. Okay. Um, if you get a number like this and you've added up, say you have a really long data set, you're in statistics, you have a very long data set, and you get seven and 18 hundreds, right? And you're like, oh, I'm exhausted, right? This must be my answer. You should be able to look at this number and know that this does not make sense. And the reason why this number does not make sense is, is it because it's not represent, represented, represented, I can't even say the word. It is not representative of these numbers up here. This number has to be a snapshot, a representation of these numbers. So 7 and 18 hundredths is far too high to represent these numbers, right? $7.18 is far too high to represent these numbers if you're thinking about money. So you know you're missing that second step, and your second step is to divide. Well, we know how to divide. We learned that last week, right? So first things first, we want to get rid of any decimal that is in your divisor. Your divisor is the number on the outside here. And there is no decimal in the divisor, so we're good. It's okay if there's a decimal in the dividend, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring that up, okay? And then I'm going to divide as usual. So 4 goes into 7 once. 4 times 1 is 4. 3 left over. Bring down the 1. 4 goes into 31 um, 7 times. Yeah, 7 times. 4 times 7 is 28. 31 minus 28 is 3. Bring down the 8. 4 goes into 38. Well, 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 9 is 36. That's the winner. 4 times 9 is 36. 2 left over. Okay. When we're dealing with decimals, we don't have remainders. We don't use the remainders, right? So what we do is we add a 0 here. Because by adding a 0 here, it doesn't affect this value. And then I'm going to bring that 0 down. 4 goes into 20 now 5 times. So 4 times 5 is 20. Nothing left over. So my mean or my average is 1 and 795 thousandths. And if you look at this number, this number looks like looks like it, it would match these numbers up top. Okay, this number looks like it would match or looks somewhat like these numbers on top. Okay, so that's how you can calculate your mean. So now let's look at the median. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite these numbers on a new page. So 
So the first thing we want to do for our median is we want to put them in order from least to greatest. Okay, so I'm going to start listing them in order from least to greatest. So this guy is my smallest, 4,300, hundredths, 75 hundredths goes next, 2 and 23 hundredths, and 3 and 77 hundredths, okay? And I like to just double check, make sure I've listed them all, and also sometimes I like to cross them out. So 4,300 hundredths, got that one, 75 hundredths, 2 and 23 hundredths, 3 and 77 hundredths. Okay, and the reason why I like to cross them out is when you're in statistics, again, and you guys will probably all be taking statistics, you will be getting a lot of data. And so you have to be very careful that you don't miss one. If you miss one, the whole thing's wrong, unfortunately. Okay, so now we need to find our median. So our median is the number in the middle. And if you look at the word median, mead, right? It kind of sounds like medium, right? And it has that M-E-D. So medium, middle, it has the D, right? So middle. All right. So I want the number in the middle. So I'm going to start from end to end. And I'm going to start eliminating. So boom, boom. Okay. So now I've got two in the middle. So can I just pick one and call it a day? No. I wish I could. That would be super cool, right? But I can't. So what I need to do is I need to find the mean of these two. Okay. I need to find the mean of these two. How do we find the mean again? We add them up and divide. So let's add them up. 2.23 plus 0 0.75, so this is 8, 9, 2, so 2.98, don't forget second step, second step is divide, divide by 2, okay, again, we look, if there's a decimal here, there's no decimal here, so we don't have to worry about it, it's okay if there's a decimal in the dividend, just bring that decimal up, okay, start dividing, 2 goes into 2 once, 2 times 1 is 2, bring down the 9, okay, and, and you guys should be doing this with me, right, I should not be doing this alone, you shouldn't just be looking at this, you should have a pen and paper out, pausing this, trying it, working it out with me, being active with it, so 2 goes into 9 4 times, 2 times 4 is 8, 1 left over, bring down that 8, 2 divides into 18 uh, 9 times, so 2 times 9 is 18, nothing left over, perfect. So my mean for these two guys is 1 and 4 ninths. So my median, or my number right in the middle, is 1 and 49 hundredths. So median equals 1 and 49 hundredths. Okay, so it's your number in the middle. If you have two in the middle, you have to find the mean of the two. Okay, if you have one in the middle, your, your life is easy. You just pick it, right? So hopefully you get one in the middle, but we, it's not always the case. So now let's look at mode. So again, we have our numbers in order from least to greatest, which is very helpful when we're looking at mode. So you also want to put your order, your number in orders from your number in order from least to greatest from mode. So I'm just going to rewrite this down here. We had already put them in order, which is going to be helpful for us. All right, so I'm just going to rewrite them over. So now we're looking at mode. All right, so mode. I'm looking for the most popular number. Do I have a most popular number? No, I do not. So my mode is nothing, no mode. Yes, that can happen, right? We're not in charge of the data, right? The data is given to us. So the data can be really anything it wants to be. Maybe you don't have a mode. Maybe you have 10 modes. Maybe you have one mode. All of it is totally fine. Okay, so mode, that was easy, no mode. So range, range is your distance from the greatest value to the smallest value, the distance between. So what's my greatest value? My greatest value 
is 3 and 77 hundredths, and my smallest value is 0 and 43 hundredths. And when we're talking about the distance between or the difference, we're always talking about subtraction. So if you think about range, like a shooting range or a baseball range, right, you can almost think about throwing a ball all the way here, and you're going to measure that range. How far is it, right? How far does your data reach? That's what it's asking you. So what we do is we subtract. Okay, so 7 minus 3 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 3. Bring the decimal down. 3 minus 0 is 3. So my range in my data or how wide my data reaches and how, how big it swings, right? The distance between it is 3, 3 and 34 hundredths. Okay, so that is how we calculate mean, median, mode, and range when we're in dealing with decimals. It's very similar to whole numbers, only the math is a little bit different because we are dealing with decimals. Okay, hopeful, hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.